Hey everyone, Andre from CFX Films here, and this is Red Alliance. This is uh, part four of my Red Alliance Let's Play series. This is a game that I had the pleasure of writing an original score to. It's made by my friend Roman, and he's a pretty cool guy. Spent many years working on this game with uh, only a few people, and it's come a long way, and it's finally out. So we're going to um, try and beat this happy, family-friendly kids game. And uh, I think this is the going to be the final part because we are kind of close to the end. So let's see what happens. Uh, I think I already know what this puzzle is because I have played an older version of the game. Where are we going here? In here? It's creepy. Yeah. And there's one more. Where would he hide it? Right there. Yeah, I actually think that's uh, where he had it before in the past. Yeah, so this is kind of funny. So this tower spawns. Uh, it spawns when you get all those. Kind of creepy. It's cool, though. Uh, where am I going here? Here we go. Creepy. Something gonna jump out. That'd be interesting if something jumps out. Ooh, everything's gone. Oh wait, aren't we going here? Yeah, we're going down here. There we go. Very creepy. That's a cool gun. I apologize if you guys are interested in uh, listening to the. Wait. Confirming receive coordinates. We are on our way to your location. It's very dangerous around there. Try to survive as long as you can before we assault the labs. Dialogue is so cheesy. I wonder if this guy is like an aspiring actor. Yeah, the voice acting, uh, it, it's pretty fun. Uh, you can tell that they definitely tried. The dialogue has gone through many changes since the game first started, so a lot of things have been recorded. I had a lot of lines in here temporarily for, for a time, and those were all replaced. Um, maybe, maybe there's a few besides, you know, the one guy that is actually played by me. But... Yeah, I wonder if that uh, Dr. Gray guy is an aspiring actor or someone who's trying to do it professionally. I'm ready for some of my battle music. Dr. Gray has gone mad. I... I can barely stand on my own two feet right now. Dr. Gray's experiments failed. He failed to maintain the situation. A large number of his subjects have escaped the mind control and are now... mutated into terrifying creatures something it's funny because my game dead lab had a very similar story and even similar dialogue talking about the, talking about the the terrified creatures so that's kind of one of the ironic things is that roman and i built our games independently but they both shared very similar qualities his went a lot further than mine is actually on full release but uh it's quite uh quite interesting that we that we think alike so i think it's the red pipes okay so there's my music playing in the background. Okay, there's one. So it didn't quite work, so we gotta get another one here. Maybe it's up the other side. Music's so epic! Yes, there it is. That 
that's it, right? <coughs> nice. Ah, there you go. That's it. We got it. Breathe. We need to put an end to this madness. I, we struggle like the too much because of his lunacy. Doctor Gray, he must be stopped. I, <coughs> I will find him. Well, we better get moving then. I will help you find him. By the way, my name is Paul. Doctor Gray <laughs> betrayed me alongside the other uh, for Voice acting so funny. My name is Paul. Right now we have a By the way. We better move out now. Oh my. All right, I guess we just keep going, right? Oh boy, you know when there's all this ammo, that means the game's about to end. Oh, I'll take this one. Uh, let's take that one. No, I want the super gun. Take more of that. Let's take more of that. Yeah, okay. I remember when the game was just here and this was the farthest that he got, and he, there was nothing past this. Now there's actually a final boss stage. Let's do this. Uh, There's no turning back oh, now. Okay. So I'm not going to keep watching you. I'm going to go. You have a nice day. We must find a way to get to whatever he has been working on in these rooms. I'm going to try to find a way to disable one of the force fields. See if you can find a way into a different one. Meanwhile, I am busy with this one. Whoa, that's an insane looking model. Wow, nice job. It's funny because the dialogue sounds like it was all recorded at separate times in different rooms with people that didn't talk to each other. And honestly, that is how it was actually recorded. And what and that's actually very common for indie games because, you know, not everyone's in the same location and these people are all over the world. So when this happens, basically, uh, it's just because it's the affordable solution. A lot of times when there isn't a, a very, very clear mapped out path of, let's say, you know, like a script with a storyboard, it's very hard for actors to often know exactly what to... Is, can I stand in the middle of this? Oh, that's funny. It's like an actual physical... Well, uh, it's very hard for actors to really know exactly what they have to do uh, in, in the context of the dialogue. Uh, I have no idea. What we're doing here just walk up. oh i have a flash sense still. okay just walk up to everything and press e there we go oh see because when he's talking and then you're supposed to shoot at the same time while he's talking it's like uh, it's really hard to hear the dialogue because you can't really pay attention to it when they do that. Just a little note. Great job. That's one generator down. What? See how frustrated he was. What is that? He was so focused on is there a fire down there? Uh. Man. Alright, that gun is pretty bad, so I'm not going to use that one. Oh no, oh no, I gotta sit through that whole thing again. I forgot to quick save again, guys. Quick save that again. There you go. Nice. I think this one has a cool uh, dissolves effect. That's a cool effect. But this, oh, that's such a cool effect. Uh, I recognize a lot of these uh, particle effects. But very cool. That's gotta be the coolest weapon in the game. There hasn't been music in a while. I think it's, there should be a little bit more music. Not because I made it again, but because it just would help the atmosphere a bit. Uh, okay, I have a feeling it's going to open up, so I'm going to take him out before it opens up. Can 
gonna quick save again. Oh man, that is right out of Half-Life 1. I love this. This really gives me some good memories of Half-Life 1. Not a huge fan of Half-Life 1. I think I've expressed that. I think it's a very, very boring game. There's just so much stuff that doesn't happen after you do so much in that game. It just takes forever to do anything. Was he important? Nah. I like that though. Okay. Very cool. <laughs> Is that the profiler for the scene? That's the Unity profiler. Debugging, testing the frame rates. Oh, hi. Oh, wait. Maybe that was a good guy. Oh, well. Oh, boy. Why are there so many flares? Oh, good. Yeah, three is definitely the golden rule. Everyone in this game talks over everyone. It's so funny. Oh, what? Yeah, everyone in this game just talks over everyone. So part of the thing that makes a game fair is that you have to be able to defend yourself. You can't just have enemies coming out and then surprise attacking you and, and taking out your health. Because if I was on 2 health there, 2% health, I would have died. You know, and of course that's that's a little thing because, yeah, of course, why would I be running around 2% health? But it is very important that a game is fair the whole time so that you don't feel like you're being cheated. And it's a challenge to design a game like that. It really, really is. Um, especially when the AI, in this game, it's tough because the AI is very difficult, but they shoot you from a mile away through fog and snow, and it's very, you know, very easy for them to hit you, and it doesn't have a lot of um, realistic qualities in terms of stealth or anything like that. Uh, but it definitely, for what it's trying to do, I think it does a good job of being um, AI that fits the game and actually uh, pushes the game forward and it actually gives a good challenge and it's actually quite fun and satisfying. So uh, yeah, give some credit there. All right, where are we going? So, so I guess this didn't work. So we need a key. Now that one's green, that one's green, this one's red. Is that it? Oh, where is Dr. Gray now? Why isn't he talking to us anymore? Okay. Wasn't the other area called a means to an end? Let me get some more ammo. No? Okay, no problem. I wonder if my guy's actually helpful. He's right here. Uh there's my boss music. Woo! Okay, we're in the final stages here. I see something. Have you heard the one about the mine? You're not even listening to me. God damn it. Oh shoot. Oh wait, can they fit under there? Whoa. No, they can't. Okay, so what do I do about this? That's actually quite an interesting situation. Let's uh use this guy. Maybe I can shoot him underneath. Nope. Alright, let's try this. Oh, oh. <laughs> They're burning to death. That's so funny. Okay, I am stuck in this corner. There it is. That's cool. That's fun. Any more? Please die. Please die. Any more? Uh, okay. Let's 
see. Oh, oh, what else do I got here? Okay, I got Desert Eagle ammo. Let's try it. Are there any other hidden... Oh! You know Crap. That's not cool. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. What was I saving then? Huh? Wait. Where did my saves go? Oh. Wait a minute. Was I hitting the wrong key the whole time? Oh, man. I've been taking screenshots. And I was so close to beating the game, too. Okay. I don't know what to do here. There's not enough health. New gun. You know what? Contrary to popular belief, there aren't very many evil villain things I can say, so would you hurry up and die so I don't exhaust them all? That's a funny line. Oh boy. Oh, not gonna survive that. Ah, no. He's dead. I got him. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shoot. Alright, quick saving that. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Alright, let's see if this worked out. Okay. Ah, here we go. What you have done. You've caused massive deaths. You manipulated people. And you did nothing good. I, am I think this guy made his point already. You, limb from limb. And I'm going to clone you. And I'm going to kill all of your clones just for fun. You will never what end my legacy. Your greed for glory and your egotism will kill you. Just like you killed thousands of lives. Let's end this now. Find a way to get him. Hmm, I wonder how many of those I need. There we go. in that room. Shit, why can't I close it? What have you done? Get me out of here. I, I can't die here. Not like this. No, no, no. Ah! This is how it ends for him. He was too obsessed with his experiments and himself. His greed to glory and his obsession killed him. There isn't much to watch here anymore. Let's get out of here now. They were mutated to an extent that made them lose their sense, lose their freedom, lose their humanity. Gray craved for something far beyond his reach, and that is to say break through the shell of the human mind, and got his wings burnt by that hubris. Cool. Alright, now let's get out of this nightmare. Very cool. 
Nice job. Very cool game. Really happy to have been a part of this project. It's really cool. Just so many years went into this game. You know, while everyone will have their own opinion about the design of it and the story and, you know, voice acting, there, there's, you know, there's always something that people can have an opinion on and have, you know, their say on. Uh, but what it really comes down to is the amount of work that went into this, the reason why the amount of work went into this and what the goal was. So it was really, it's just really cool to see that, you know, really come through. So well done, Roman and the rest of the team. And uh, can't wait to see what your next project is. So that's gonna be it guys. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, I did not make this end credits music. Um, I don't even know who made it. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you liked it. I, I will be playing some of my other old games too um, on my channel. I post a lot of that kind of stuff. Hit that little notification bell so you actually see when I'm uploading videos. And yeah, thank you so much again and I will see you in the next video.